She looks as though she's barely aged. She won an Oscar in 2002 for Chicago, and she's married to Michael Douglas, one of Hollywood's favorite leading men. Yet we don't see Catherine Zeta-Jones in big, juicy roles anymore. Why not? Here are some possible reasons Hollywood dropped Catherine Zeta-Jones. Not indie. Zeta-Jones' resume features big-budget flicks like The Mask of Zorro and Chicago, usually opposite other A-listers. But those roles can dry up as actresses mature. Zeta-Jones never pursued independent film projects, so she doesn't have those credentials to turn to when major motion pictures stop calling. Indie films have rejuvenated other actresses' stalled careers. But it's not an avenue that Zeta-Jones seems to have considered yet for those long years, where she doesn't seem to have much going on. No signature. Zeta-Jones doesn't have a cinematic type. Yes, she's done musical films like Chicago and Rock of Ages, but she's not the quirky sidekick or the tomboyish leading lady. She's usually a glam goddess, which can describe lots of actresses. It's true that having a particular type can often work against performers, but maybe not being typecast as anything may have worked against Zeta-Jones. Many talented actresses with Oscars don't have that one unique thing that makes them stand out from the rest. Being a beautiful but generic leading lady could be her fate too. Marriage Troubles in 2013, People reported that Zeta-Jones and Douglas were quietly living apart, and her rep confirmed they were working on their marriage. The pair eventually reconciled and seemed stronger than ever in 2016, but even so, their widely reported personal issues have detracted from the actress's professional pursuits. Inner Battles Zeta-Jones went public with her bipolar disorder diagnosis in 2011. She told Good Housekeeping, There are amazing highs and very low lows. My goal is to be consistently in the middle. I'm in a very good place right now. A lot of that is to do with the fact that I'm much more knowledgeable about what I call my pain in the ass. It's terrific that Zeta Jones has been candid about her struggles, though the whole thing was more or less accidental. You know what? I'm sick of talking about it mm -hmm. because I never wanted to be the poster child for this. Right. And I never wanted this to come out publicly. It came out. And so I dealt with it in the best way I could. Her revelation also suggests that the high demands of Hollywood may not complement her overall health and happiness, which she's hopefully prioritizing at the moment. How she can turn it around In addition to the 2016 television series Dad's Army, Zeta-Jones has embraced a terrific opportunity to return to acting, albeit on the small screen. Variety confirmed that she'll portray Oscar-winning actress Olivia de Havilland in the FX anthology series Feud, due out in 2017. The show reportedly depicts the epic behind-the-scenes battles of Tinseltown legends Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, played by Jessica Lange and Susan Sarandon, respectively. Vanity Fair said the part of de Havilland could offer fabulous scene-stealing supporting capacity, providing Zeta-Jones a glamorous reintroduction to her adoring fans. Not bad. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know why you think we don't see much of Catherine Zeta Jones anymore.